Hey guys, Jim Nix with nomadicpursuits.com and in this video I'm going to talk about how you easily and quickly replace a sky using Luminar. I've got this photo here. The only thing I've done is I've created uh, or I've erased a little sunspot that was in the photo. So that's what that erased image layer is, but otherwise I've done nothing to the photo. And truthfully, the sunset's not that bad, but I just want to use it as an example of how quickly and easily you can replace a sky. So the first thing you have to do is add a new layer. So in your layers palette, just click on plus and click on add new image layer because you don't want an adjustment layer. Um, you're not making adjustments. You're uh, adding a new image on top of the one and the, uh, the one you're adding is the new sky. So I'm going to click on that. I've already got this sky selected. I'm just going to click to choose that. And there's my sky that's going to go in. This is an old photo that I use this sky quite a bit just because I like it. Um, so that creates a new layer, which um, has the sky on it. And of course, because it's a new layer, it's 100% visible. Uh, and that's all that you see. It's laying on top of your base layer. So I'm going to make it visible. Um, you can do a couple things. You could go clear the mask, but that's just an extra step. I just grabbed the gradient mask because that's a tool that we're going to use to basically paint this sky on top of the base image. So I'm just going to click on gradient mask mode. And then it says here, click and drag to draw the gradient. So you can literally just click and drag. And you can see that I'm painting the new sky in. And I'm doing this kind of quickly, but I'm painting that in on top of the photo. And there you go. Now you'll see that I'm overlapping a little bit. I'm going to straighten that a tiny bit. I'm overlapping here a little bit, but we'll fix that in a moment. So there, the new sky is on. You just click apply and there's your new sky. Um, I might would come over here. I've got the brush selected. I've got the eraser selected. And you can just come over here and just erase that bit of the uh, sky from the new uh, image, the new sky. And I'm doing it kind of quickly, so maybe it's not perfect. Uh, but let me show you the mask. There's the mask, right? So I just kind of took it out of this section here just to keep it visible because that sky was going to hide the rock. Uh, now the other thing you can do is go into the transform tool. And what that does is that's going to allow me to transform or kind of I, used, I like to use the word squish. It's going to squish the top image, which is the sky. So let me show you. As you can see, that sky is moving up, right? I'm squishing that image. And so it's starting like that. But maybe I want the sky to lay a little differently like that. So you can just transform to change how the sky is laying. And there you go. I've completely replaced the sky. Now what I would do is I'd go add an adjustment layer. I'd probably get a preset. I'm just doing this kind of quick. Um, you know what? I'll just use, uh, how about Vivid? It just looks kind of good. And I'll close presets. And there's a Vivid preset. I think I'd go in to add a filter to this preset, choose top and bottom lighting. I'm just kind of walking through this on the fly. And I think the bottom, I think I'll reduce that a little bit. It's a little too bright for my taste. Uh, and there you go. I mean, I've completely redone this image. Uh, let me show you the, oops, uh, yeah. Let me get into the hand. There we go. Let me show you the before and after. You can see the before was sort of a flat and the after is a, a wow sort of sky. You could do all sorts of edits if you wanted, right? Any filter you want to add, you can just keep adding and keep adjusting. But that's how you do it. Quickly and easy, easily replace the sky. And in just a couple of minutes here, I've got an entirely different image. And that's how it works in Luminar. Quick, easy, fun, and super powerful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. See you next time, folks. Adios.